astronomical discoveries, our Earth had another star, and when our Earth had a tropical atmosphere, what happened? What happened to change everything? Well, I'd like to leave a video for you to see. It's about 14 minutes, but it's really, really fantastic. Uh, a scientist, a cosmologist, talks about the fact that even our records show that at one point in time, the atmosphere, for example, before the Great Flood, was different. It had a, a different uh, makeup. For example, it was more dense. We had a tropical atmosphere and uh, we didn't even have rainbows. It was after the Great Flood that we were able to see the stars in the sky and the sunshine able to create a rainbow, which was not to be seen before that, before the flood of Noah. So something happened, earth changes, astronomical changes happened, and he, he describes it here. He believes that the pink atmosphere, the weather, must have been because we had perhaps uh, we were orbiting another star, such as a brown dwarf star. And as that came towards our sun, something happened with the plasma, with the electric universe, as he describes it. They had an electromagnetic jolt, and the sun being our sun that we have now being much, much larger than the uh, brown dwarf was, uh, cut off the electricity towards the brown dwarf, and that started giving flares off, started giving off its energy, and then became some kind of a comet. He also talks about the tilts of our uh, planets and the orbits of our planets and the fact that something happened with Saturn and Venus, one of them having a, a, being without a tilt and having a, an opposite rotation and that that could be because it was spun out, it was uh, uh, spit out from a collision of some kind. So I hope you enjoy it. I think you're going to have a lot of answers from watching this. It's a very short video, but I'm sure you'll, you'll like what you get out of it. And this is on Zohar Stargate Ancient Discoveries. And I'll leave a link below for you for those who want to watch it. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.